Tarasig Villanueva. And here beside me is my own rendition of a painting created by my father. And today I'm going to try and relate to this painting a creation of a Rika Shimputai. For this demonstration, I am using a Rika vase. I begin with my main part, which is the shoe, the red-orange santan. This vibrant dark orange santan picks the color of the vest of the lady. I chose this as my main part, the shoe. And to emphasize it even more, I'm using two of them. I am placing them in such a way that they seem to speak to each other. Rika Shimputai is an Ikinobo Ikibana arrangement inspired by modern trends rather than traditional set patterns. Here, wiring is a technique that is subscribed to to affect the uh, desired result of the artist. I am now putting a wired Diefenbachia leaf I am using this leaf as my yo, the responding part to the main part, which is the shoe. I had the leaf wired such as it curves up, seemingly looking out upward to the Santa flowers. And I am using two of them. The main parts of Arika Shimputai are the shoe, represented here by the uh, orange santan flowers and the yo, represented by the two leaves that seem to look upward towards the santan flowers in response to them. Notice that my shoe is quite bright and round while my yo are dark and subtle and pointed. I am defining here my Mizugiwa, which should be about three fingers above the uh, edge of the vase. And I am wiring it so that they stay in place and that the Mizugiwa remains uh, stable. As I work on my arrangement, I try to imagine the lady walking and swaying as if gracefully dancing to lighten her load that she carries on her head. Thus, the main parts are in place. We now go to the other parts which should all be asherized because I have finished with my shoe and yaw. Asherites are helpers that enable the artist to balance the composition on the left and the right, from the back and from the front. These are Kalatea leaves that have very nice designs that should be heavy enough to counter the big leaves on the left side. But then at this time, I see that the right side is quite light compared to the heaviness of the left side. I go back to the painting in my head and I imagine the lady with the heavy load and I feel like I should put something to add lightness to make it seem like it's floating above her head. Gulay, Sunong ni Agatona, is a remake of the painting of my father, Ama Ramon. I see it as my great-grandmother, Andangtona, selling vegetables, walking along the barrio streets, hollering, Gulay kayo dyan. Rarely seen now in the urban areas, the scene is reminiscent of laid-back ways, a more relaxed mode of living, exploring gentle means to earn for 
and meet daily needs. I chose to use five Boston fern leaves, but I wired them and I removed most of the leaves and left just the upper part to create that airy look. This step adds more weight on the right side, yet maintaining its lightness. Rika Shimpotai is more free as an arrangement. However, we still try to follow what we know from the set traditional rules of arranging using the Ikinobu way. I would like to thank Dr. Lupe Lazaro and Dr. June Valderrama who were the senseis at the time that I was trying to create this Rika Shimputai, mentoring me. Thank you so much. As I work on the arrangement, I can imagine her rhythmically moving forward. I look at her with fondness, remembering how my Inarahina would call out to get fresh greens for the day. Such is a typical sight of how life was simple and ordinary, yet seemingly easy and cozy. I so love the effect of the ferns, aside from them helping me in the composition by balancing the left and the right sides of the Srika Shimputai. In Ikinobo, a demonstrator would usually be standing up and the arrangement will be facing the demonstrator. And now I am turning it around so I can show you how it is up to this point. It's not yet finished though. As I already previously mentioned, the uh, Rika Shimputai I am working on has more freedom, but then again, it still goes back to some of the elements of the Rika Shofutai, which has a Shoshin, a Do, and a Mayoki that would ground this arrangement. I am using a bud of a red rose as my Shoshin. I am putting a wired door. This is a yellow sunflower. For the mayoki, a protruding leaf that sort of catches the door, I am using an alocasia. This is my Rika Shimputai that relates to my painting, which is a realistic painting of a lady carrying a basket full of vegetables. There are contrasting parts in this composition that come together and blend for harmony and movement. The curving upward stands of the leaves and the stems on the left and the right sides of the arrangement relate to the rhythm and grace of the lady selling vegetables. In this manner, the arrangement tries to mimic 
the implied or rather imagined graceful movement of the lady in the painting through the lines and textures of the Rika Shimpatai arrangement. 